Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan, and today I'm going to show you a complete tutorial on how to register a domain on .easy. It's a very cheap web hosting service, and I really like it. Um, and I'm also going to show you how to set up your first website and easily publish it through Rapid Weaver 5 for Mac. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to register with the .easy web hosting service. I'll provide a link in the description. And um, to make sure your domain isn't registered yet, you want to type it right over here and make sure you select .com, .net, .biz org any of those so as you can see here it says firstyear.com domains is six dollars and ninety three cents with free hosting included um, I paid for this plan and I am really liking it so far because it has everything that I need so I'm really recommending dot easy web hosting so once you should go to sign up now the only bad part is it takes 24 hours for them to get back to you so if we register a new domain name domain name let's just call this your site dot com and it's probably gonna say that that's taken already. So I'm just gonna do an example. So um, let's just call this astonishing12.com and click continue. It should be available. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna completely register this. I'm just gonna dot com. All right, let's click continue. And then you can just bypass this because see this code right here just copy and paste this and then click on one year term and then paste it here so now your year domain and it has free hosting as well coupon value is 1807 so you have one free year for six dollars ninety three cents with hosting and everything so you wanna not do any of these things because I don't think any your sites gonna be that big that anyone's gonna be like willing to hack it so for hosting service, you would want to click on basic hosting plan because you don't, you don't, I really don't think that you need all of this stuff um, unless your site has a lot of files and everything. But you click on basic hosting plan because we're going to be updating it through an FTP server. So just click on no thanks for all this. PG basic. Um, you're not if you're if you're making a photo gallery website, I would recommend a PG professional. So web form, we're gonna click on no thanks. Oh yeah, for this by the way, click on no thanks too, since we're not making a photo gallery. Click continue. And then from this form, I'm gonna stop here. You're gonna want to type in all of this, all these things. But I'm gonna focus on right here the shopping cart domain one year, one year domain twenty five bucks, hosting service a year, basic hosting is free, so zero bucks. Total is twenty five dollars. So. The 2011 New Year 693 domain sale coupon value is value is 1807. You get it for 693. So it, like I said, it's a really good deal. Um, so once you register that, you want to make sure that you check your email a lot. Make sure your credit card didn't get declined. They do not go through PayPal. Only Amex, Mastercard, and Visa. All right. So now that we have, if you need, you're probably gonna need like 24 hours to register. So come back to the video and you should start it here. Okay, so once your website is been activated, you want to go and wrap it, Weaver. So this is my website that I have so far. Um, I'm not gonna make a new project because I only have one domain, and I'm gonna have to register another one, and it's just gonna be a lot confusing. So I'm just gonna create a sample web page for you guys. Okay, so once you've gotten to your site, you're gonna want to go into blog. I usually recommend using blog as your home page. So just click that, and let's just call this one sample home click enter um, you're gonna go into the view right here and then it'll have another tab in my tab bar list um, these are little links so I'll show you it has like your blog links I put there um, let's see okay so you're gonna wanna go to setup and I have on my site logo all this is in there my favicon web clip so this doesn't really matter for me right now since I already have that so then we're gonna wanna go into page info and we're gonna call the page title sample home the browser title is what's gonna appear up here let's just call that sample home alright so then we're gonna wanna go over to title I'm not really sure I just wanna test this really quick yeah so this is gonna be your specific title so I'm gonna call this one and it automatically updates like this after you type it in. So I'll call it sample home. Um, yeah, so it'll be 
blog two since this is already my blog one. And our slogan, we can just put um Yeah, I hate I really don't like what it does that. If you're a slow typer, it's not really meant for you then. So then slow example home for YouTube. So then um the footer I think I'm pretty sure let me just test she really quick. Yeah, that's at the bottom of the page, so we're not gonna uncheck that because we want the original one. Alright. So if you want a sidebar, let's just call this one blog links because it's gonna appear over this list right here. And those are all gonna be your blog links. Um your header is right up here. Um I'm not really gonna be getting into that. You don't really need to know that much for editing it. Um the thing I recommend if you go on the page tab and you go into advanced, you wanna click on localize and no. You wanna do um for American time month oh one day oh one and year nineteen seventy eight and 9 p.m. because they have it like Europe time it's weird it's like a million other numbers in front of it like two seven four and I'm always in school like wait is it like the fourth day of July or like the second day of February so I get confused um so yeah it also comes to like an RSS feed link and I'll get into that you don't really have to do much for it and this is pretty much your sample home you want to edit the blog then you can just go up to here and click on the plus sign I'm just going to call this one Sample, and if you want, you can get you can just easily get one of these. So then it just like takes up some space. So then we're gonna paste that in here, and we're gonna call this sample. And our category is going to be sample, and our tag is going to be sample, comma, news, and then click enter. Okay, so now the time is corrected. Um, we're going to want to go back. And all, by the way, you can also edit some things over here. Click enter a couple of times. We type in like uh, IB outlet and like UI. Yeah, UI button star button go and this is pretty cool because you highlight it and you go into right here I think it would be a uh, superscript or a subscript yeah it'll it'll come up in like a little code viewer thing so but it kind of it's an italic so hold up I'll put this in the subscript and I'll go back to the view like if you were kind of putting code in there, it would kind of it would be good, but in this case I failed at it. Um. So yeah. So you'd have your blog, your sample blog, the blog links. It'll have everything. So the sample, March 2011 news sample, and then the RSS feed for it. So as you can see, I filed it in sample. So sample right here, and the tags are sample and news, right here, and that's what happens in the little sidebar link. So. Now that we have our basic blog, we can also go and add another page. And hmm, what should we add? Let's add a styled text. Now I'm gonna paste that Ipsum thing, and I'm pretty sure you can drag you can drag in images, so it's like right in the middle of it. Um, it look it's gonna look really ugly, but I'm just gonna show you. We're just dragging a couple. All right, and we can go back to our view. See how disgusting it looks. So as you can see, it actually doesn't look that bad. <laughs> um, my bad. It actually looks pretty cool. So if you were like image sharing, then people can just go on your site and drag your stuff like right off there. So, so this is the style text. It'll come up like this. This is what a blog looks like, and the first page is always gonna have a little home icon. So, now that we have our style text page and our blog text page, we're going to want to go into, because I already have mine published, so your bookmarks, you'll have your, basic your bookmarks so you can like easily go back. If you have a f few domains, you can easily just go right to your bookmarks and just test the connection, make sure it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to publish. But first things first, I'm going to open up 
a window. I'm going to open up my site really quick. And then, see how it looks right now? I'm going to click on Publish. I'm going to click Don't Save. And I'm going to wait for that to be done publishing. And as soon as it's done, I'm going to click Refresh. So it is really fast um, updating like when you publish it to your site. Because I can't stand using site builders. They're just so annoying. But this is a form of CSS, I could say. Um, yeah. So let's just wait. It's almost done. Um, but if you don't like site builders, then I would really recommend getting a domain and using an FTP and using Rapid Weaver. iWeb also supports it, and so does Coda. All right, so click OK, and I'm going to click Refresh. <laughs> Max, shut up. All right, so now you have our sample home we made and our untitled page. <laughs> Max, stop. So then we can click on RSS feed and you can paste this anywhere and it'll have the RSS feed for this page. So, all right, so I guess that pretty much concludes our tutorial for the day on how to create a website on Rapid Weaver and register a domain. So please go to .easy.com and that's all. Thank you for watching.